You're watching KHQA This Morning. It's your news now. No matter the day of the week, quarter after five in the morning, I always think, where's Kristen Aguirre? Oh, well, let's find out. Kristen, what are you up to this morning? Well, I am here at the Avenue of Lights, a Quincy holiday tradition. And coming up later in the show, we are going to take a drive through these cool lights and see what is new and the display this year. And we'll also hear how this event even got started. All that coming up later in the show. I'm excited. I've only been to this once before. Cool. I've cool. already done it twice. Once on Friday nights. I yeah. was there this morning at the Avenue of Lights. Yeah, Kristen, how's it going? Yep, I am here getting started to go through my tour. I've only been here one other time, and it was last year. So I'm really excited to see what's new. With me now is John Groves, who helps set everything up. Who starts, um, who got this started? This was a, a, an original project of the Chamber of Can uh, Commerce Ambassador Club, and they operated it uh, starting back in 1999 for about four years and then uh, chose to get out of the of the uh, activity and the core group that, that sort of put it on for uh, the ambassador club or the chamber said you know it's really a neat project it's it's special for Quincy we need to perpetuate it and so a group of us formed a not-for-profit uh, to acquire the assets from the chamber and to perpetuate Avenue of Lights as, and grow it to where we've uh, where we see it today. How small was it when you guys first got it started? When we look back at some of the videos, it was it was pretty uh, sparse. Oh. And uh, uh, we've got new sponsors. Uh, the the uh, nature of the displays has become much, much more complex and uh, uh, obviously uh, very colorful, too. All right, well, now we're getting started on our tour. I'm so excited. What are we going through right now? Well, this, uh, we're, we're just inside uh, uh, the park and uh, area that we refer to as the swamp has uh, uh, display sponsored by uh, uh, Napa Manufacturing Company, uh, their historic wagon and, and uh, mansion. Uh, we have ice skaters in a, in a man-made rink uh, out in the uh, area, and then we have our village scene with the uh, church, uh, uh, a little trolley station, some, some uh, peasants out uh, singing, skating. Uh, old-fashioned trolley. This is so cool. How long does it take to get all this up? We actually uh, unload trailers where we store things in the off-season. Uh, we start unloading just after mm -hmm. and go through displays, see what uh, didn't uh, make the trip well over the hot summer months, mm -hmm. uh, start reconditioning, and then uh, about the uh, first week of October we can put a few displays up, but we really hit it hard after uh, uh, 10 dusters event which is about October 12th October 15th at that point in time we can get into the upper circle of uh, Mormon Park and begin the uh, uh, assembly erection uh, process all right well coming up later in the show we're going to continue our tour and see what else is new here all right cool very cool mm -hmm. Kristen Aguirre live in Quincy this morning yeah Kristen how's it going I am here going through a tour. We're kind of a little bit towards a little bit midway right now. It is so exciting. I've only been here one other time. So there's new things this year, and, and I'm really excited to see everything. With me now is John Groves, a volunteer with the Avenue of Lights organization that puts on the display. What are we going to be seeing coming up next, John? Well, the, the uh, Scotty the Skating Caterpillar has been out of the park for a couple of years, uh, needed a makeover, a facelift, if you will, and uh, this summer, uh, Bob Scott was able to uh, uh, strip it and uh, make some adjustments to it and then really went over the top rebuilding, uh, relighting, and uh, uh, use of uh, computer controls to uh, operate uh, uh, the new skating caterpillar. All right, well, of course, it's, it's sponsored by uh, Scotty's Fun Spot, and, and we all know in this area the neat things that they have, and Bob just transferred. Uh, a lot of those uh, intriguing things into the lighting of, of this display. This looks so cool. This was not here, like you said, last year when I came. So this is so exciting. The so, lights on that display number into the thousands, thousands. literally. And uh, uh, that this was uh, 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 reconditioned with the help of uh, the Clayton Work Camp, which provides a large amount of labor in the setup and teardown of, of uh, this event each year. It looks so awesome. So I have a question. What happens when one of the lights and and one of the displays go out? How do you can you fix that or would you is it just out for the season? 
No, I'll, I'll defer to, uh, to to Bob Scott again, who uh, uh, gave up his, his most of his Saturday to come in and uh, uh, recondition, uh, replace uh, rope light uh, to make this thing look as nice as it does today for for uh, this event for this show. Um, actually, uh, uh, we do try to to have everything uh, flawless when we set it up and hope that it holds through the season. But if it doesn't, uh, sometimes weather permitting, we will make uh, repairs. All right, well, coming up later in the show, we're going to continue our awesome drive through here at the Avenue of Lights and see what other stuff they have new here. Thank goodness it's not uh, when one bulb goes out, they all go out. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing it's just one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I yeah know. She's, out, she's getting her own little private tour of it. I've gone through in a car. Mm -hmm. Really, really neat. But Kristen, uh, she's got her own private tour guide with her. Kristen, how's it going this morning? I do have my own private tour guide with me, and now with me is Linda. I traded out her husband, John, for now Linda's going to give me uh, some tips. So what are we going to be going through right now? This looks like the cream of the crop of the tour here. Yes. This is, the, is, is where we consolidate a whole lot of lights because we can. We've got a lot of, uh, a lot of area. We try to, try to uh, group things together um, uh, to, to make... Um, small small groups um, of uh, uh, it's just massive massive lights when you're coming across the, the uh, bridge here and um, I think the one of the coolest parts is this one right next to us here because you could see everything over the river that looks so awesome it is it is um, we, we have uh, a little penguin village up ahead and Santa's Caribbean Adventure and dinosaurs, and um, uh, and of course our Christmas trees that uh, um, is kind of Bob Scott's uh, doing. Uh, <laughs> what was the idea going into like this dinosaur like palm trees? Because I think it's funny that like it's Christmas, but you know over here it's kind of like a desert. It is. It is. Um, that was um, uh, Mercantile Bank's idea uh, of just adding something that um, the kids would really, really like. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, we have a, we, we do have one sea serpent that does have a Santa yeah. Claus add-on <laughs> to add a little, little Christmas touch to so, it. So um, the one thing that John was actually talking to me about in between commercial breaks was that there are only four people in your organization that put this on, but the people that actually put these up are from the, the camp. The camp, the work camp. We could not do it without these guys. They um, they come in here every day. It doesn't matter if it's raining, if it's cold, if it's uh, you know we start when it's when it's uh, warm out. They they um, uh, hustle and uh, run from from display to, to display, doing whatever we need them to do. Whether it's putting up a display, changing light bulbs, or um, uh, you know just anything we ask them to do. They're, they're, they're there to do it, and uh, we, we really thank the Illinois Department of Corrections because they allow us to have the guys to put this all together. All right, well, coming up later in the show, I'm going to continue my tour, my private tour here, and see what else, other displays that are new this season. Cool. Very cool. One of my favorites is the Dinosaur Land, mm -hmm. and I, the same way with Kristen. What does this have to do with Christmas, uh -huh. but it's brings really us cool. to Kristen Aguirre, mm -hmm. who is out there live this morning. How's it going, Kristen? It's going great. It actually feels totally like Christmas after you've been going through this Avenue Lights. It's so amazing. With me now is Linda Groves, who is the creative director of all of these lights. How do you pick out what you want? I feel like there's probably so many choices. Like, how do you know what you want to be in the display? Well, a lot of the things, um, the, the guys, um, Bob Scott and um, uh, John helps a little bit, but Bob Scott's the, the uh, uh, genius behind all this. I pick out things. I use coloring books a lot. Oh. Find, thing, find pictures and coloring books. This would make a good display. <laughs> and then Bob always tells me why I can't do it, and he always ends up doing <laughs> it, and then some. So um, um, we just try, try to pick things that, that we think people would like and group things together. And as we talked about with the dinosaurs, we don't always have to have something that is Christmas-related. Most of our stuff is Christmas or winter related but but not everything so now we're coming up to a new display we have here right right uh gardner denver's is um uh, sponsoring this and um mcdonald's think they have uh, a very fast drive-through and they do 
but nothing compared to the slide-through <laughs> window of the ice cream shop because this little penguin is really hungry and wants his ice cream cone. Well, I wish that was real because I would definitely go through that drive-through. Now, this is something that I remember from last year. Is this kind of like an iconic piece, kind of bridging everything? It is. It is. Um, the the, the uh, snowflake tunnel is what we call this. Uh, kind of brings things um, together in this in this area, which is snow pieces, snow globe over here that that uh, Bob made. Um, That's so awesome. I love that snow globe. We uh, have our little bears over here that... The bears are not very good skaters. Some of them, some of them are having a hard time staying on their feet. Um, the, the couple pieces over here we've we've uh, purchased from um, other parks. I think those came from Columbia, um, and we've we've roped those. We have have noticed that um, uh, we think that the rope lighting helps define our pieces a lot more. But we do stick with some of the C7s as well. All right, great. Well, I'm going to continue my tour going on here, and we're coming back up later in the show. We will finish it and figure out when you can come out here and see everything. All right. Thank you, really Kristen, neat. for the nice little tour. Mm -hmm. Hi, right. And outside is Kristen Aguirre, who's live this morning at the Avenue of Lights. How's it going, Kristen? Well, speaking of palm trees, the Avenue of Lights have their own palm trees. Now, those were actually purchased by you guys, right, Linda? Right. But most of all, the other thing that you have here, you guys actually build. Right. Bob Scott and his crew um, created most of these things. Um, I put it down on paper, and they make it happen. Um, most of these things came from coloring books, and uh, most of the dinosaurs... Uh, everybody has a coloring book with dinosaurs in it, and we just brought them to life, bigger than life, uh, um, here at the Avenue of Lights. We even have a little dinosaur over there that pops out of the egg. <laughs> and um, this is kind of one of the most famous features here, because I, I've heard people talk about this all the time. And we have we asked Bob, or we asked John a little bit when we interviewed him earlier, um, kind of, why did you guys pick this? Because this isn't really, like, very Christmassy. Right. Although we do have a sea serpent over there with a with a uh, Santa Claus hat on, um, <laughs> if this is something that kids like, and uh, it's all about kids, kids of all ages. But it's all about it's all about the kids, and the kids like the dinosaurs. And Mercantile Bank said when we, when I suggested it to them, they said do it, and uh, they've been uh, a, a sponsor of the Avenue of Lights for since day one for the last 14 years. So Mark's kind of looking at this uh, display here, and what is it called again? It's called Brace Yourself. Dr. Miller is an orthodontist. <laughs> so these these uh, little sledders are, are bracing themselves for the ride down the hill. And so you guys actually um, don't take any money from this. You, so the whole displays right. are kind of based on the ticket sales and some sponsors. Correct. Correct. We have a, a lot of uh, people in the community that recognize um, uh, that we do have a lot of out-of-town visitors. We every night we kind of kind of uh, hit and miss inventory the people that are coming in and and uh, ask them where they came from. And we we are finding out that that we are we are getting an awful lot of people uh, outside of, of of Quincy coming in. A lot of our friends in Missouri come. A lot of our friends in Iowa come. All right. Well, if you're interested in doing a family fun holiday event, make sure you check out the Avenue of Lights. And I would put my stamp of approval on it as well. I would, too.